Hey guys, Team Global 3 in here, and today I'm not necessarily doing Deck of the Week, just sort of um, starting on a new series that's kind of similar, kind of different. It's basically just how to play X, what deck. Now, I would do this as Deck of the Week, I already have, but it's been revised. I'm just going to go over the basics of it. Today's theme is Grass. I did this. Yeah, that's my new sexy mat. Taking this thing to regionals, it's going to be awesome. Yay. Um, alright, so let's get to it. Start off with the basics of the deck. Um, first of all, the start so far right now is Mr. Chimera. He's basically a junk psych round for the deck in that, like, you normal summon him, he brings back a tuner. This means he goes spam synchros really fast, like, the main stars of the deck, which I'll show you in a second, dragons, twin dragons. And, unfortunately, there is a stipulation about him. You do have to bring back, you do have to summon a scrap synchro with it, but... So what, uh, Dragon is huge right now, he's like one of the best synchros in the game. Get out tuners with him. First of all, we got Goblin, he is the wall of the deck. You could set him, be completely safe, he just gets attacked. Um, as long as he remains face up, I mean, as long as he's there, he can't be destroyed by battle. So in order to kill him, they actually have to target him while he's face up defense mode. And then he'll actually die at the end phase. I mean, at the end of battle phase. So like, he basically protects you for a definite battle phase. Then when he dies, his effect goes off, and he brings one scrap monster back to your hand. Beast also brings the scrap monster back to your hand. It's not as likely that you're going to get him off as Goblin is, though, because Gobby is, like I said, a wall. He's just a beat stick, 1600. Um, he's good because he's a level 4, which means he comes out with Chimera, makes your dragons really fast. But aside from that, he's basically just a beat stick. And, yeah, like, you scrap storm him, you do whatever he... And it's really good. Robo Kitty. Of course, you got Golem, Mr. Refrigerator Head. I mean, Micro Head, whatever. He's a revival for the deck. Um, once per turn, you could revive one level 4 lower scrap monster to each side of the field. I'm using bring back your tuners, like get him out. That's your 9 right there. You could bring this guy out to pop their field. And it's important to note that he says either side. So there's some cool combos you can do with him. Like, you don't necessarily have to get Synchros or just Beat Sticks. You could use them to your advantage, like, get Goblin back, put it on their side, because Goblin can't be destroyed by battle. Just keep an attack mode, that stops them from having presence, so you can't Gores, they can't Battle Fader, even if they go to you, just kind of keep on attacking him. Basically, it stops them from doing bad things to you. It's pretty cool. Or also, if they have some awesome field, whenever this guy comes out, he blows up everything that's not scrap. So, give it to them, and say hello to 2200 damage, plus whatever else you have in the field. Um, Searcher is the last of the current scrap monsters. He basically comes out whenever scrap gets destroyed. They stack, so if you have multiples in the grave, you can bring multiples out. And like I just said, because of his field nuking ability, he's really good with Golem. If you want to synchros, of course the stars are the two dragons. Um, Dragon himself is probably one of the best cards in Yu-Gi-Oh right now. Um, his ability basically says, once per turn, you could destroy one card you control and one card your opponent controls. Same time. So, like, if you want to combo that with, say, one of your tuners, like, say he's out, target him with his effect, blow up there, back row, he goes boom, you might get a searcher back if you have one in the grave, and, like, add Chimera to your hand. And also, in addition, most the Scrap Dragons have this effect that if it gets destroyed by opponent's effect, you could revive one Scrap non secret monster. This is actually really useful because, like, your opponent's going to bait out with some sort of destruction. Or especially, like, if this slows Mirror Force. Because it dies. Okay, it's still battle phase. Revive your golem. Swing for 23. Main 2. Go use golem's effect to bring it out. Bring out another synchro. Make pluses. It's really good. Um, Twin is the other thing. He also works like dragon. You target one that you control. Two your opponent does. You destroy your one card. And spin two of their cards back to their deck. Back to hand. This is really good because it gets rid of your give of their back row problems without really wearing the Stardust or anything like that. And it basically you could combo that really well with something like a Morphing Jar or Card Destruction. Just put the threats back to the hand and get rid of them for good. And 3k attack. It's not bad. Um, got Scrap Storm. The awesome, awesome. This card is probably the most broken card in the deck. It's their draw power card. Um, basically select the Scrap. Send that Scrap to... Send one other scrap from your deck to the grave, draw one card, and then destroy a selected monster. And that looks like it's just 
a one for one type of situation, but if you play it right, you could essentially, uh, let's give an example, Goblin out, gonna be sending a Chimera, and you've already have the Searcher in the Grave. Now, how this will resolve is he targets him, that, and that's the Grave, shuffle, draw your card so that evens it out. Then you add Chimera back to your hand because he's getting destroyed, and you get this. You're essentially plus twoing off a draw card. And like I said, these guys do stack, so bam, you can just swarm and have your guy ready. Summon, shabam, synchro, and destroy. Now the awesome, awesome thing about Scrap Swarm is that they stack. By this I mean that, like, your monster doesn't get destroyed until the last thing, the resolution. So you just target, you use three Scrap Swarms, target one monster, you're sending three cards to grave, drawing three cards, and I don't even know how much you're going to be posting at the point. Just so, so good. And also it is also awesome because it gets around a lot of things like Bottomless and um, Mirror Force, Book of Moon, basically anything but Quick Play Trap Card. It's a really, really good card. It's amazing. Finally, we have the Arc Fiend. Not necessarily as good. Just another Synchro, just something to bring out if you are forced to go um, Chimera Goblin and you can't bring anything else out. What's 26? Some beat stick, which is nice, and the fact that you get also plus off scrap effects makes it even better. Right? Um, I would mention scrapyards, not quite as good. It just adds one too near to your hand, but honestly, with scrapyards, you're not going to need that kind of speed. <clears throat> right? Moving on to support. First of all, we got basically a choice of Cyber Dragon, Tricky, Power Invader. It really depends what kind of deck you run. You're basically just looking at level five floater come out, so you first to make a dragon, first to make a twin dragon. Um, basically looking at Cyber, if you're in a machine heavy format, if you know a lot of Machina players, or you know, a lot of um, character is big now, that way you can come attack with it, and just free monster, you don't have any stipulation for it. You want Tricky, if you got more Gravekeepers, more people playing, actually using the circle, and skip for discard power, so you get, get rid of your tuners, get rid of your golems, and then just sink, plus, 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 plus. You got Foolish Burial. This deck loves to have stuff in the grave. First turn Searcher, first turn Golem, first turn turn to get back from Chimera. Awesome plays. You got this card, which is basically the gem of the deck. Um, basically, this trap that activates upon destruction, which means you can't decrete, you can't like negate or anything. It happens when it's already gone. And basically, when your opponent gets rid of it, I mean, if he gets rid of it, then they get the choice of either destroying one monster they have or randomly discarding one card from your hand. Combo this with the dragon. The end. Alright, so, twin dragon. This is set. Pop it with effect. Spin two of the back rows of your hands. They're either going to get rid of the monster or they're going to discard one card from your hand, possibly one of the cards you just spun. Amazing, amazing pluses. That's all I have to say about the card. We got Decree. Because this deck really doesn't run that many traps. I mean, you can tech whatever you need to, but really, one build I've seen, well, not that I've seen, but one build I actually side into. These are the only traps in here. Just three of this, three of this. That way, you negate all the threats, you're getting rid of stuff with this, and you're getting away scot free. It's awesome. And finally, we are going to look at these two the two good notorious synchros. I'm basically including these in here because Scraps is an all earth deck. I mean, you're going to be running other stuff, obviously, but, like, I'm just going for the basics of the deck. I'm going to say, like, oh, run effect failures or whatever. That's up to you. But yeah. These both brought out with all earth, which is something that Scraps does. This one, they get traps. This one, they get spells. I don't think I need to say anything else about them. All right. Now I've gone through sort of the basics of the deck. Let's go on to possibly what, I want to say what some of the problems are and solutions to that. First of all, Scraps drives on destroying. So if your opponent's running like rises and kaises and all that stuff, like stuff that spins, stuff that removes from play, that's a bit of a problem because you can't really plus off that. Now what you could do is well Imperial Lane Wall's gonna stop removal from happening. I'd decide one of those if you want to. Otherwise just like try to outspeed it, try to scrap storm, try to run your counter traps, however you want to run protection, just like outspeed it. It's basically a solution to that. Special summoning Impression of Thunder King, I guess that ends Doom Cal, you see them. They are a bit of a problem, not gonna lie. Because this deck loves Special Summon. 
course, solutions to this would be Book of Moon all their monsters, and you just use MSTs or hope that you have a scrap dragon out already to just pop the oppression. Finally, one newer thing is now that Gravekeepers are out, Graveyard is key in this deck. Scraps love to have something in the grave, like I said multiple times. Dragon, get back a goal, and um, Chimera go into a tuner to sink. It's, it just loves the graveyard. So, Necrobound is a problem. But like I said already, run Duo High and Spell Trap Destruction, you should be fine with that with MSTs. Or just find a good field spell to side in, which I'll show you in my first theme right here. Um, Alright, so going into a couple themes, these are just like a few basic ideas, not really every single theme in the book. First one is one solution to Gravekeepers, I found. Scrap Town. This basically focuses on these guys. You can also use the Morphtronic map or whatever else. Basically just says, play a field, slow down, pop it with Dragon, and get a free monster. This gets around your Necro Valley because you get rid of it easily. And this gives you some awesome, like, this guy I love comes out of anywhere with Gear Town, Hand Deck or Grave. And 3k beat stick that stops your opponent from stopping you in the battle phase. It's awesome. So we got that. Um, one thing, contrary to the Gravekeepers being a problem, there is actually a Scrapkeeper variant. Um, I say this because these three guys, in particular, Spy being the Searcher, of course, this guy to bounce, and this guy to destroy, are all level 4 spellcasters. This means that not, not only do they make beasts happy to make dragons easily, but you could also use these with the goblin to make an Arcanite Magician for more destruction. And of course, as we all know, everyone loves Ascendant because he goes boom. So yeah, Scrap Keepers adds a lot of destruction to the deck and actually gets around that whole we don't like Necro Valley solution as well. Final thing I'm going to go over is just Light Swarm. Scrap Swarm. Basically, this is a big theme because Scraps love the graveyard. This deck loves sending to the grave, loves milling, getting that speed in. It's basically letting you run your pot of adversaries, this is letting you run your grave recycling stuff to get even more draw power, and you're just destroying and milling and just speeding it through everything like crazy. It's a really fast, really good theme. Alright, finally, I'm gonna show just a little preview of what's to come. Now, this is not saying everything, like, I know there's always roosts and all that stuff, but I'm just looking at the Storm of Ragnarok, what we're getting in there. Um, first of all, let me see this. Maybe it's not resolution. We're getting the third synchro. Or fourth synchro, I guess. Whatever. Scrap Atomic Dragon. This is another dragon like they all are. Level 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. He's a scrap tuner plus two more non tuners. And he's has the other ability like the others, where it's if it's destroyed by opponent's effect, you get your scrap synch non synchro. And his once return effect is you destroy one card you control and return from your gra from the grave three monsters your opponent has. Now this basically says bye to all the frogs and all that stuff. That's all I need to say. 3200 attack is awesome. You get Scrap Shark. It's 21 beater fish. Um, his ability just says whenever anything as activated destroy this, which is kind of bad. But when he's destroyed, you add once you can select one scrap from your deck and send it to grave. This basically makes him a scrap storm in and of himself. We're getting this guy, a scrap worm. It's level 2 tuner. He could attack your opponent directly, and if he does, he's automatically destroyed. Then gets the lovely scrap tuner effect of adding one monster back to your hand. Awesome. And finally, there's no picture for this, but it's OCG exclusive scrap breaker. It's level 6 earth machine. 2100 attack. If your opponent controls a monster, you can special this from your hand. When special summon this way, select one scrap monster you control and destroy it. This is awesome because essentially it places Cyber Dragon in any flows in that deck. It speeds the deck along so much because you can just pop a tuner, add your stuff back to your hand, get your searchers, summon the tuner, and you have so many targets. Just amazing. Alright, so, quick rack up. Scraps are awesome. Play them. I will be at regionals this week. And I'll see you guys later with something else. Peace out, YouTubes.